Hang in there, Lady Rhea. Get her to her room, quickly! That's a serious injury. It's a miracle that she's even alive right now. I'll do what I can, but... Goddess, please save Lady Rhea. All we can do now is pray. Remember when this place was taken five years ago and a pure white beast appeared on the battlefield? I only caught a glimpse of it, but I didn't understand where it came from. There were rumors that the goddess sent it to protect the monastery. But now I know better. That beast was Rhea. She tried to save me. Did you know Rhea's true identity? Thinking back on it now? I suppose I did. I once showed you a picture of a creature known as the Immaculate One. Sedith confiscated it, saying it must have been one of Tomas's personal possessions. The beast that appeared back then looked just like it. So Rhea is the Immaculate One. The book said that it was a servant of the goddess, but wouldn't it make sense if beasts like that are actually children of the goddess? Rhea is in a grim state right now. It's possible she may not make it, but we have things we must ask her about. Once things calm down a little, let's go and see Rhea. Together, the truth can't be delayed any longer. <sighs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Houses. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Verdant Rain Moon. Fodlan's New Dawn. With the destruction of Shambhala, the ambitions of those who slither in the dark are forever shattered. However, Rhea has suffered grievous injuries in the process. Yet, certain mysteries remain unsolved, so Claude and the others approach Rhea, who is now confined to her room due to her wounds. Better train. The very last. I am happy to see you too. Sorry to interrupt your rest, but there are some things that we absolutely must ask you. It seems I do not have much time left. I do not intend to hide anything any longer. Rhea, I have to ask. You're the Immaculate One, aren't you? If what I'm thinking is correct, that's what the Children of the Goddess is referring to. In other words, you... I... I am the last child of the Progenitor God. A long time ago, the Progenitor God came from somewhere far away and descended upon this continent. She changed her form to resemble that of a human and gave her own blood to birth her children. The Progenitor God and her children shared knowledge and skills with the people of the land. Together, they built a prosperous civilization. But the humans turned their backs on the teachings of the Progenitor God and engaged in senseless wars. Eventually, people began to think of themselves as gods and challenged the Progenitor God herself to battle. The land was scorched in the war that ensued, and the majority of humans were annihilated. I believe that those who slither in the dark are the descendants of those who retreated beneath the ground during that time. So they had been waiting all that time for their chance at revenge. It took the Progenitor God an astonishing amount of time to revive the ravaged world. But eventually, the continent found peace again. And the Progenitor God, having fulfilled her duty, fell into a long slumber in the Holy Tomb. The children who stayed behind built a settlement in Xanadu to protect the Holy Tomb as they quietly lived out their lives. But then, Nemesis appeared, bringing tragedy along with him. Even now, I cannot forget the sight of that massive canyon painted red with blood 
I was never able to forgive those who proudly wielded weapons crafted from the corpses of my brethren. I was the only survivor of Xanado. And all I could do was wander across Fodlan, clinging to my desperate desire for revenge. I called myself Seros, fostered the founding of the Empire, and prepared to oppose Nemesis and his followers. Unbelievable. I put Xanado behind me to gather the remaining children who were scattered across Fodlan. Finally, we killed Nemesis on the Teltine Plains, and I took back the Sword of the Creator. Well, let me get this straight. Saint Seros is you? You're kidding me, right? Professor, Claude, there's something you need to hear right away. If you have something to report, do so at once. There is no need to let my presence worry you. As you wish. We're receiving a constant stream of express messengers from cities to the east. They claim that an unidentified military force is attacking, and that there have already been a large number of casualties. What? The reports indicate that the cities and towns along the East Grander Thoroughfare in the Old Hrim territory have already been destroyed. Some villages were razed completely, leaving no survivors. Damn it! Did they come from Shambhala? Could it be that there were some remnants of that wicked group hiding there? I have a report. The unidentified military force has crossed the Great Bridge of Murden. Alliance forces met them in battle, but it seems they have already broken through. They've already made it so far. Is Count Gloucester unharmed? The Count is fine, but apparently my brother joined with reinforcements and was gravely injured. Do you mean to tell me they easily got past a general as skilled as Holst? They say the enemy general has a weapon that resembles the Sword of the Creator. Even my brother was powerless to stop him. The Sword of the Creator? That's not possible. The enemy forces are flying a banner bearing the Crest of Flames as they continue their march west along the Aramid River. <sighs> we believe they're marching toward Garrig Mach. We are preparing to meet them in battle. A weapon that resembles the Sword of the Creator. And banner bearing the Crest of Flames. There is only one explanation. The one leading the enemy force is Nemesis himself. Nemesis? That Nemesis? Do you really think the ancient king of liberation has been brought back to life? Perhaps the seal was broken when Shambhala fell. An incredible power that we children cannot hope to match dwells within the blood of the progenitor god. Nemesis obtained that blood, so it would not surprise me if that were the case. The blood of the progenitor god? That's right. He did take the remains from the holy tomb, didn't he? From the blood of the progenitor god. So this, he acquired the Crest of Flames. From her bones and heart, he crafted the Sword of the Creator. The Sword of the Creator is made from her bones and heart? The heart of Sothis is the Crest Stone that was placed in the Sword of the Creator. The same is true of the Crests of the Ten Elites and the other Crest Stones. They were born of the blood and hearts of the Progenitor God's children. Those who slither in the dark created them stole them. So this never gifted that power to the humans. The crests of the ten elites, the crest stones, and the hero's relics. I can't believe those who slither in the dark made them all. And after that, Nemesis used the sword of the creator to massacre all of the progenitor god's children in Xanado. In other words, the citizens of Xanado were killed by weapons made from the remains of their brethren. How atrocious. But I don't get it. The sword of the creator that Teach wields doesn't have a crest stone. So how is Teach able to wield its full power? The crest stone of the progenitor god dwells within your professor. <gasps> After I battled with Nemesis as Saint Seros, I reclaimed the heart of Sophus. I wanted to use that heart to... to resurrect her, even though I had to do some questionable things to achieve that goal. I wished to see Sothis, my mother, once more. You placed her heart in me. Yes. I believed that if I could resurrect my mother, I could regain all that had been lost. So, that's the truth of it. I suspected that your body housed the consciousness of Sothis. 
those suspicions were correct. And yet, she merely gave you her power and vanished. My dearest wish did not come true. But you did inherit the power of the Progenitor God. Now, you must use that power to defeat Nemesis once and for all. Fodlin's blood-stained history must end. <sighs> heavy. Real heavy. We get one last time to prepare. But yeah, the truth comes out. The true truth. We only get three times to prepare. This. That. Thanks to you. Um, yeah. Okay, she's in the room. See, as long as they're around, we can yes, we must have for me. Thank you. This last play of everything. Go see Catherine. Cook. How's this? Ghosts rise. No matter how they're persistent. I try not to think about what would happen. I'm not sure why the Fell King Nemesis, but it makes me angry. That's. Jelly. 
and we'll just keep making blessed Mind? jellies. Hmm. Right. I do. Oh. Plus. Hello there. Nope. No, that is. This one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Okay. Seems like once the day. Seems like once the dust. Secret shop. Welcome. Is that the one? Because I am back soon. making sure. Struct manually. There we go, Claw. There we go. You're almost maxed. This <laughs> I do not mean to go with Lauren's, but hey. Begin training. I would like to... Ah, so that's how... Do nothing, sorry. I'm skipping this because it's not useful. Sorry, Manuela. Club might max out flying. to you um, actually I could probably do this hey uh. okay so I can just My cook. Hmm. Right. 
I do. First of all, give my Sipia the owl feather. Lady Rail. We must have. Raphael. Long, arduous process. All right. Leave. That's good. Catherine and uh, Anna just to raise my sword. My sword. Stay longer. So I say. Now let's go see Catherine. Hmm. Okay. I try. I'm not sure, but it makes. Me Feels weird. See it once this Today's free time ends instruct manually because Really, Claude? Seriously? Why is everyone who is not great at flying getting the perfect? Before I forget, 
Today's special? Yep, Claude and Lorenz. If someday our positions change, true. I think like if he's no food again. Uh, this I like. Yep. Sorry, let's if you uh Challenge the Mysophia. I try, I'm not, but it makes. Giving that someone Sorry, but cannot bully you a sword, but still our best sword user. Sorry, but I must. Sorry, but I must. You got yourself killed. Fitting outcome. More Lysophia? Hi. All right, flames up here. My two. Please keep Raya. Is I beg of you. This experience. So, flying effect? No. Perfect for what we're doing next. Speaking of what's perfect for next 
what we're doing next. Uh, I'm giving you swords. Good fuel for us. I always was a, a good fuel for a scheme. We're not doing any schemes, but we are going to explore her one more time. Some better eats. I like Hello. Oh, this Use one more time just to see if I. I did not eat it. Yeah, we'll do this. Just to waste a bit of time. Having a meal together like this makes me feel like you are part of our family, Professor. You truly are as good as kin. Let us enjoy this brief respite together. Such a nice moment. And that only appears if, if I can show their support ranks. Yeah, you have to have A with both. If you don't, then yeah, no. My cooking. Hmm. Right. I do. S I try, I'm not, but it makes it. Let's go see Leone. So she can be given a bunch of stuff. Here's some gift. 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 Please. So, we're so I'll think about my promise to Captain Gerald to protect you instead. If I can get you through this in one piece, I just hope he's... 
Wow. Wow. Here's some fishing stuff. Just because I want to see how far I can get your sword rank. <laughs> Sadly, like Sophia, you couldn't get to ask boss, even though doing so would be really good, honestly. Sin Fiulione. Granted. I've learned. Compared to everyone else, that would only Claude was really needing it. <laughs> and we can finally show off Fallen Star. Black Magic Range plus one on Marianne. Begin training. Final training of this series. There. This should be suitable. Last crit plus yet? ten. Sword prowess. Abilities. Claude. Even though it'll be practically used for just one thing, I think it's good enough. Items. Elixir. Yes. And if there is, I can just collect it.
The Aurora Shield's just a yummy. Trade. I don't mean... Where is it? Seminar. You know what? Nope. Has anyone got flight? Nope. No one's got flight. Oh wow. Okay. Swords that is. That'll be the end of this episode though. Some things you can't learn. I suppose it's no fish no attendees. Increase by fifty percent. That's just cutscene. All right, it's this. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day. I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Someone I love. We have a choice between these people and Sophus. Uh, yeah, because of how things click, click together, yeah, I'm going clogged. We won't say anything about that until after. So, next time on Fire Emblem Free Houses, we take on Nemesis. See you guys then. Zinu Zuma, signing out.